all right um so welcome back welcome back to the channel so in so in this video we are going to come back to the chat dev because some people have as you know have you know have asked me to you know maybe continue on this uh, series so i i know even i think that we haven't covered in uh, the required depth right there is a lot to it in the uh, theoretical part so you know we'll be understanding you know we will be, we'll be trying to read the code uh of chat dev like what like what the code is actually doing what the program is doing so we'll be trying to read the code uh in their github so all the so the project the project is open source right the project uh for chat, chat dev is open source so therefore it will be you know like um so it is easy for us to read the code and maybe experiment with it and also one one other thing is that they also have like a uh, bunch of pre uh pre pre projects right the projects that have already built by uh, this model chat dev so they have i think already used this chat dev to build um uh, some models so will be some some sorry some softwares some uh, projects so we'll be trying to look at them also we'll be looking at them also uh, so we'll be you know maybe going into the project tree and we'll try to you know we'll see what the model is capable of uh, in just a minute so we'll be we'll be also doing that and also we'll be trying to read the code i think uh, we are yeah i think i i you know we can read the whole code in this video so you know i think i'm going to divide this into multiple videos where we try to read the code uh, at least on a high level a little high level uh so we'll be trying to understand uh, you know there are a lot of files there are like a lot of python files i could i could we could like see a lot of python files so you now we'll, we'll try to go slowly um in this video we are just going to like go through the paper again like just like a basic uh out, like overall lower like overall introduction or yeah if you are if you haven't watched my previous videos just like an introduction uh, and then after that we will be like going through the code and yeah and after that we'll be actually using it we'll be actually using this chat dev uh, and then uh, we'll be seeing right so again so chat dev if you are new to it so chat dev is i think a model right it's a model which uses multiple language models to automate the complete software development process right so we have a software development process right uh, building softwares so we'll be trying to automate this process completely using pure language modeling uh, so we'll be completely automating the process which is actually quite interesting right one thing that so given this problem of automating software development one beginner let's say any person any person in the field of machine learning or deep learning can you know can propose to use like one language model and just give it the whole problem statement and just ask it to write the whole code right we could definitely do that we could definitely ask one model to do, do this one language model but uh, there is a problem called hallucination in which all the prompt will not be given complete importance and uh, all the requirements might not be solved and also we would not have any organized way to solve bigger projects maybe so therefore in order to solve this problem we'll be building a, a let's say essentially a company with, with with many like language models or many or uh, many language models playing different roles right uh, right so what we'll be doing is uh, so we'll be building a, essentially a company right uh, and this company right so this company is going to consist of language models that are uh, at least acting to play different roles right these models will be acting to play different roles um, and then these models will intelligently like corn uh, you know talk with each other right so you know, we are going to have bunch of roles such as ceo cfo you know coder designer artist etc and all of these are going to like talk to each other like basically like giving feedback for example we are going to have a tester a testing team which is going to be testing the application which is built by the coder and there will be a conversation with, between this tester and the coder uh, and you know until they debug a pro let's say a problem and also there will be ceo and the coder and there's going to be conversations and we'll essentially build a system like this 
and we'll use something like, called chat chain in which uh, we you know it's a like a they'll adopt a waterfall model in which we don't have like four distinct phases uh, inside uh, this prop prop problem building uh, designing coding testing and documenting so designing phase is going to like design with applications and for each phase we are going to have bunch of uh, we are going to have bunch of roles which should be played so in the designing uh, i think we are going to have like ceo uh, cpo cto and etc right uh, and then we are also going to like have like a mem memory stream in which all the um, ideas proposed and also all the maybe features or all the work that is done will be stored in a memory such that you know maybe for uh, maybe for taking future decisions you know all the previous uh, ideas will also be taken into um, taken into consideration right um, and also testers and coders so there will also be like you know uh, thorough in uh, conversations between uh, like testers and coders and also we also going to document using classic llms right so this is like a very high high level overall of this paper again i have covered all of this in like the previous series so or previous videos so check that out if you are interested um now uh first let's have the fun part let's try to like look at the things that have built maybe some games i will you know we'll try to play them so you know just like in this video i mean we are going to cover code but uh, the code uh, in the like yeah, we are going to cover the actual code in just a minute. For, but for now, I think we'll just um, go through. Right, so we have, okay, it already exists. Then we'll CD into chat dev. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have chat dev, I think, in the admin folder. So I'll just open it. I I, I don't think we need command prompt at all. So you know, I, I just wanted to like have that. So we have uh, chat dev, I think, here. So we're just going into the uh, warehouse in which like stores like all the projects. So let's open, let, let, like, let's randomly open some things, maybe. So I see Flappy Boat here. I mean, I'm very interested. So I'll just run the open main file. So I'll just open that or the main file. Let's see like what is the interface that they that have been built and also some maybe some cool things that maybe they have done. So it is opening like visual studio code. I don't think we need that. So not we don't need the code, right? We only need uh so I think I'll just run it using like command prompt. Right, let's just run it. I'll just go into CD warehouse. Or you know what? Let's just uh, I just copy the things. Yeah, CD where where house right? We have gone to warehouse and we have to go through this folder. So just copy this. Right, I'll just copy that. Just paste it here. CD that. And now let's run the main file. Python main.py. So now let's see uh, the output of this model. So like how it works. Okay. I don't know what this is. Oh, the, <laughs> uh, I, think, I think there is no... Uh, like the little bird. I think there should be some bird, right? Let's uh, run this again. Maybe let's... What is that? Okay, okay. I understand now. Let's just try to run it again, maybe. Like we should be fast. Yeah, so this is how this is. Right. Right, so... Let's just try to win. I just... Okay, shit. Game over. I'm, I'm, I'm very bad at games, believe me. So let's just try to skip it one. Yeah. Oh, no. One more try. One more try. I'll just try to. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I have skipped one. So you might want to give me credit for that. All right. So, you know, like, just let's just try to review the code. Let's just see the code also. I mean, like, 
just look at the like uh just look at the interface right like the interface is, the interface is actually quite beautiful beautiful and also i think we have i think we'll be having like document or something uh, based on like uh then let's just look at this text document of what it consists i'll just open it no pad okay yeah can present information right i i know yeah okay so they have documented the like the whole journey like of all the conversations i'll just try to look at it let's just try to look at it um or maybe i'll just open it through like visual sure or something right so they have like especially like log i think i hope you know, i i think you know about log right now we show all the document we document the journey right like all the conversations so here also we have all the conversations of um you know bit taken to like that is took between all the people or our language models not people people uh you know the code uh, and also the which is actually quite wonderful right all, all the journeys all journeys also uh, documented which is quite nice and uh, i want i know i wonder what that is okay we don't know uh and then meta uh, requirements uh, there there is no requirements they say i mean i mean definitely there is requirement but uh and also we have a json file okay which consists of a prompt okay so we are actually having assistant role uh, let, let, let's just keep it like this let's just open this uh, file like this so maybe for may, maybe while reading the code maybe we will get to know what this file actually is maybe in the code so we, we just keep it like that maybe for the rest of this video so understanding the model so we we'll just keep it like that and just let's try let's try to play other games maybe and i i wonder what this gomo key is i have no idea Shit, it is opening through like let's go close command prompt. I wonder if we will open it. Go. All right, so I'll just open command prompt. Uh, we we'll just do it again. Chat dev, warehouse. Now this game, right? Or you know what? I just like let us see other games that we probably know. Let's see if there's chess. Well, so I'm, I'm, I'm like I'm a fan of chess. Uh, like yeah. I mean, I mean like. So again, if you don't want to like watch me like, uh, show my very bad skills in games, if you don't want to like watch this, uh, complete completely fine. You can just maybe, you know, maybe maybe, uh, go to go to the go to the next part. Maybe, uh, just toggle. So let's see what we have. Mention my Slavic bird, twist tycoon, digital clock. I don't find very I don't find any like interesting games to play. But uh, let's see. Well, like I maze generator. Let's see. Let's let's try maze generator. <laughs> right now, let's try Python main or py. And also, like you could see, like um. Uh, yeah, so yeah, there is a maze, maze. So what do we do? Okay, I I, I guess there is just like generates a maze. Okay, so yeah, it's it's generally generate like new mazes, mazes. Uh which is quite I think yeah, I think it is also quite complex. I wonder if we could like find a path. I I wonder if there is a path. There is a path. So let's just look at some of others, maybe. Yeah, yeah, that's the only path. Uh, okay, so let's uh, 
Let's look at this. Probably a very Can we like go there like in that way? I don't know. Uh, here, let's try it. Uh, yeah, pre pre pretty complex mate. Miss. I mean, yeah, uh, like I don't have time. So let's now. Yeah, so yeah, as you have a look, right? So in, in your home also, you can like open your computer, do pro follow this process and like maybe enjoy all the games and maybe build your own games. Uh, like maybe, maybe you have a specific idea. You could use chat dev, of course. I mean, definitely it's not like uh, in its full power. It has a lot of potential. This models, uh, language models, I think has, sorry. Language model definitely has like a lot of potential in the area of like software development. You know, like you know, after this ideas, maybe you know, we'll be building better models for code generation, and then maybe we'll reach a point where software development jobs maybe would be in uh maybe some problem, right? So I think that's it for experimenting. Now let's uh, I think I'll just go to the main file. Which is let's just see what is the main file. So so let's let's just see the run 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 dot py file for now, at least for this video. So this video, I just we just like basically like played with bunch of things. So so we'll just go through this file very fastly. No, not fastly, of course. I'll try to give my best context. So you know, we'll I will try to provide most context as possible. So we'll be like going to the file, just trying to understand what they are. Uh all right. So run 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 dot py. So whenever like you use chat dot chat dev when you want to like run it, remember we have run run it in like uh, one of my previous videos where we are using this chat dev to build up I think up I think a tic tac toe game. We have built a tic tac toe game, which was not perfect, of course, which is not uh, running well. No, uh, I th I think there was some bugs in the code, but still uh, we have got the idea. So we have used we have run this uh, file called run, run dot py which is like the main file which we run which calls other files other important files other uh, from different locations in this directory um so we have we have a bunch of inputs as you can see which is from let's open this next page maybe two one right so we have one from camel dot typing from model type so camel which is a directory typing okay i think ty typing is a a python file in which we'll have model type yeah so model type is nothing but specifically like what models we'll be using which is i don't think pretty very important and then we we have this file which is chat dev dot chat chain uh so chat dev dot chat chain which is i think uh one of the main files which consists of the logic of the code which we'll of course cover maybe not in this video so you now maybe in the next video we'll just try to cover this file and maybe let's just look at it um and then uh, we have one this file get config uh maybe like so the main thing it does is return configuration json files for chat chain user can customize only parts for con configuration json files other files will be left for default arguments company Customized configuration name under company config. I think company config is another. Uh, I think it's another uh, directory which we'll just see. So in the in the company config file, we have three other sub files. Sorry, sub folders. In the con con company config folder, we have three sub folders, in which I think we'll just look at the default folder because you know default is a default. So we have three JSON files. Again, remember, this is the one we have caught it, role config.json. Here also we have role config, phase config, and chat chain config. I wonder, I wonder what these are, and now we can't understand them because we haven't yet read the code and the utilities. So, so yeah, we'll be having the default file, default folder. Uh, in the default folder, I just see what it consists of. Okay, so it consists of phase. Phase type, 
max turn step and my need reflect. So let's uh, wait for that. The face config JSON file. We have assist roles. Okay, so we have like assistant and user role. And then we have a face prompt, which is, uh, I think maybe a way of like uh, creating roles in each phase. So yeah, we have specific phases, I think analysis phase, language choose phase. Uh, yeah, so maybe you have different phases. Maybe like atomic atomic phases, right? We have atomic phases, they say. Uh, and then I wonder what, yeah, I wonder what this means, but again, we're just reading the code. So I'll just uh, skip that. So this is the default di config directory. We'll get the config files. We we'll loop through config files. We'll, uh, so we'll just get the config paths and we'll see if that exists. Uh, if that exists, if the, if these files exist, we're going to add this config path to the config paths list. Uh, essentially we'll have in this config path, we are going to have all the, um, all the, all the name of the files that exist, right? So all the files that exist, all the names that exist will be in this list, right? Config paths. All right. Um, uh, and then. We are gonna have like a bunch of argument thing, uh, which is yeah. I think we'll just we'll just skip that. So we'll be starting the chat dev chat dev chain. We'll initialize chat chain. So I think chat chain is like the main thing. All right. So we don't have config path. We don't have config face path and config role path. And we're going to call this get config function, which is which is essentially this function. So we are going to call get config function and what is the input args dot config. So yeah, we have like, we have a bunch of new variable names here. Just don't worry. Uh, we'll be breaking this all them, uh, you know, we'll be breaking about all these names in like the future videos. So make sure to, uh, you know, maybe stay with me. Right. And then, yeah. So yeah, we have, okay. Arcs parser or parse arc. So we have, um, default organization yeah bunch of things okay yes okay and then we are going to get the uh i think the models the name of the the name of the models that we will be using for uh, the language models and then and then we'll be calling the chat chain function which is this class we will be creating an object of this class in the chat chain file okay at which the input is the config path Right, the the config path, the config role path, which is again the, that JSON file, at right? the path of that JSON file, and then uh, we are going to give args dot task, which is, uh, so which is this, we are going to pass this argument, which is I think the name, uh, I think the task, the the name of the task. And then the project name, which is the name of that. So this, is, so the task is actually the description. So we are, we are going to pass in the description, the project name, the organization name, and the model, and then the model that we'll be using. So essentially, I think, uh, you know, the from the basic, uh, the from the basic knowledge that we have, chat chain is the main function, or the chat chain is the like main class. I think that is going to run all of this. I mean, definitely, it is going to be depend on other files also. So I think it is chat chain is the main class uh, that we are going to use. And look what and look what we have here. Um, yeah, really that. So we'll first be having we'll we'll be calling the functions of chat chain. The chat chain I think the the chat chain class is going to have multiple functions uh, inside that. So we'll be having like pre processing uh, pre processing. So make make recruitment number one recruit employees. So whatever employee we want for that specific phase, uh, we'll be doing that. So pre-processing, I think pre-processing. Yeah, it's pre-processing. I think in the pre-processing, uh, we are just going like, 
you do a bunch of with the files to do something in the file setting again we'll be trying to understand this right so just uh, go in a very high level in this video in this in the problem in the next videos so we'll be doing that maybe in the next video we're going to have make recruitment function which is i think is going to go through a self which is going to go through a, a variable called recruitment which is going to like store i think the name of the employees so the roles that will be needing and then execute chain which is i think the final function execute chain yeah not the final function but yeah we are going to like go through each phase and we are going to like call so yeah so in the execute chain function uh, after we have recruit, recruited our requirement required employees we are we are going to uh, go through each phase we are going to execute each phase and then post process post processing remove useless files and log some global config settings so i mean, I mean like we could lately like, read this documentation you know maybe get some idea of what this is doing execute the whole chain based on chat chain config.json all right so execute single phase so execute step i think is the function to execute each phase in which phase item is going to be the input i think yeah so we we have we have this json file right so we have this json file right so i think each phase is going to have a specific prompt or something and then we are going to input this dictionary into this phase item or, or into this function and this function is going to execute that specific step based on the uh, configuration or based on this input that we have from the json file so i think that so that is a run function that is a run function uh, so where do we so we have i think we'll use this uh, that there and all that so, so, um, so yeah that is the main main file the run run file uh, you know i know we haven't covered much in this video we haven't covered that much and maybe this is just a waste of time for you so but still we have experimented with uh, the model what it is able to do uh, some works also so in this video the main takeaway uh, in the we, we have covered the run file right the, so the main file we have covered the main file what it is actually doing we have i think we have uh, i think by now we have got a basic overview of what each function is doing and in the future we'll be going through line by line and trying to understand the function of each things uh, we'll be trying to understand the you know the software of chat dev together so thank you for watching i will see in the next videos where we cover you know like uh, maybe you know where we cover uh, all the file uh, all the code right so thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one